Alright people, welcome back to Fake Card Friday. So this one was sent to me by a friend. Uh, he is part of Team Ninjas and he also has his own personal YouTube channel. It's called Chang Link One. I will put both the links in the description. You can go ahead and head over to both channels, hit the subscribe button, and watch the content. So anyway, uh, he is a big fan of mine and he also my friend and he was like, Oh yeah, you do fake cards? Well, you know, I make fake cards, so can you go ahead and review my card for me? I'm just like, yeah, sure, go ahead and send it to me. So he did, so uh, this episode of Fake Off Radio will be looking at his card. So as you can clearly see, he made a uh, Flame Swordsman card, you know, and you know, there's a ton of Joey love right now. Like Joey's getting all of his, uh, his uh, dragon cards made, the fusion with, uh, I forgot what card it is. I didn't watch that. I didn't watch that season, you know. And Red Eyes is getting a whole bunch of for it. It's not my. It's not Critias. It's the other one. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the other one is. Oh shit! <laughs> so bad. Ah, uh, you guys are gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna just fucking unsubscribe right now because you don't even. I. I didn't. I to tell you the truth, I didn't watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Not that. Much. I got like to Merrick, and then like after Merrick, I was like, oh, I'm not into this anymore. I know, blasphemy, right? You know, I watched I watched all of uh, GX. I've watched all of Five uh, Ds. I've watched. I'm watching Arc Five. I didn't watch that. So. <laughs> I watched a couple episodes and then I just dropped it. I was like, uh, 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 uh. But yeah, yeah. But the original, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, this isn't about how fucking Daniel's terrible. Because he doesn't last there as new yield. We're looking at this card, fake card. This is a legendary swordsman of the flame. And it is clearly a uh, rank 5 monster. It has uh, 1800 attack, 600 defense. It is a fire warrior XC effect monster. So, basic stats the flame swordsman. Uh, I think the defense is correct. I'm not sure. I know the swordsman attack was 1800. I'm not sure about the defense. But yeah, uh, two level 5 monsters. So, he's generic. So, if you ever get two level 5 monsters, instead of going for that. Uh, uh, I don't know, that Blokosaurus or that Tyrus. But hey, I mean, if you got two level 5 lights instead of going for that Pleiades. Hey, if you got two level 5 machines instead of going for that Nova to go into that Infinity. Oh, okay. You'd rather go into the Infinity, I understand. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and look at this effect and determine how good this card is. So, when this card is XC7, you can target one card in the field, destroy it. So, not a terrible effect when it's XC7, of course. Uh, you guys know when you exceed something, you neg. You have two monsters, you exceed, now you're down to one, you neg. But, of course, this guy's like, hey, you get to go ahead and destroy a card on the field. So, uh, you know, it could be your opponent's monster, opponent's bell and trap, opponent's pendulum, whatever. Just go ahead and pop it. So, um, your opponent loses a card, you lose a card for exceeding, so you even out. So, uh, he at least gives you uh, that. So, starting off, not a terrible fight. Uh, now, let's get to his fight. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can attach one XC material from this card. This, attack gains, this card gains uh, 800 attack, and if you do, this card becomes unaffected by your opponent's player trap cards until the end phase. Uh, that's very powerful. Really, really powerful. Uh, and, uh, and comparison, I probably run this over Tyrus. Because, of course, you guys know Tyrus. You know, you just show a card, you can't show about card effects, which is pretty good because, you know, destruction is pretty prevalent. But this card would be unaffected by spells and traps in general. So you'd just be straight up, just, you know, not even deep prison, no compulse. Um, it's spell speed too, so, you know, unless you get hit with a solemn warning, you know, you see some of this. You know, your effect's going to go off to destroy, but if your opponent goes to bottomless, you could be like, alright, chain. Uh, I'm going to catch XC material, increase my attack by 800, so I'm going to go to 26. And I'm gonna be unaffected by spell and trap cards to the end phase, so I'm gonna be unaffected from that from that bonus. Now, what's really good is that that attack gain is permanent, so you go from 18 to 26, and then 26 to 34. I want to say no, yeah, 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 34. So uh, pretty. Uh, why am I doubting myself when it comes to math? Come on. <laughs> so very powerful. Very powerful. Uh, yeah, definitely. I definitely play him over Tyrus. He he probably be um, a non-situational, really good uh, rank five. You know, book of Stars is kind of situational, depending on what you pop. You know, Tyrus is you know mostly the the generic go-to uh, rank five. But you know, if this card existed, I'd probably go to him more often. You know, just being able to go ahead have use the effect during either player's turn. So if your opponent goes ahead and tries to rage you, you no, know, I'm unaffected. Um, this effect is also activated during the damage uh, damage step because you know it affects his attack. So. You can go like attack, uh, you know, 
And then you be like response to your phone's like, no, you know, I don't feel like playing my mirror force or anything along those lines, cause then, then you're like, alright, during the damage tap catch, I'm gonna go up to twenty six and then BAM So, uh, uh it's a pretty good card. It's a pretty good card. And then you're at twenty six, you know, you're over the attack barrier with just one detached of material. That's very powerful. Uh overall I'd say this card's really, really, really good. And if Konami ever made a rank five like this, it would definitely be uh a rank five staple in my opinion. Definitely. I mean, it's kind of hard to say because generally decks don't go into rank fives, which makes it, you know, generally when we talk about toolbox, we talk about rank fours because, you know, four is the most popular level of monster in all of Yu Gi Oh! But, uh, you know, if you have like some kind of rank five deck or, you know, you can go into rank fives, you know, instead of, you know, and you can't go into Pleiades and you can't go into uh, Nova to go into Infinity, I would definitely go around this guy. So, uh, once again, uh, this was sent to me by my friend. Uh, his YouTube channel, Chainlink1, link will be in the description, and he's also, like I said, he's also part of Team Ninjas, which will also be in the description, he's part of two channels, so if you guys want to go ahead and uh, click the links, go to the channel, hit the subscribe button and support, uh, then that would be awesome. So, anyway, thank you, uh, my friend, uh, I'm not sure if I can say his name or not, and, you know, but thank you for sending me this fake card, uh, it's a pretty cool card, and uh, yeah, pretty unique. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Fake Card Friday. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.